I'm sorry, I say this every year, but I hate to be the one to tell you that school is starting. People are starting school around the world. You are starting school pretty soon. And you wanna know, you wanna know what the best iPad Pro apps are for your student life. Maybe you're going to college, maybe you're already in college, maybe you're in high school, middle school, whatever the heck you're going in, these apps, they are essential. They are essential to your iPad. Your iPad was born without these apps and your iPad is sad because your iPad needs these apps. I mean, your iPad is very sad. Like, you should talk to your iPad once in a while. I mean, do you ever talk to your iPad? Are you a good person? Think about that. Are you a good person? Your iPad is always sitting there in your backpack, in your desk, doing things for you. What do you do for your iPad? Download these apps for your iPad. Please, be a good person. What is going on guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Nikias, also known as the Lemon Boy and in this video I'm gonna be telling you the most essential apps that you can download for your iPad iPad Pro in 2020 I made a video about it last year It did great and I'm here to update that video and even show you some more new apps that I've discovered that are freaking amazing before I start I just finished graphic design before you guys ask I just finished graphic design in university. I officially graduated. What am I going to do now? Well, now I'm full time on YouTube, but I'm also considering voice acting, like going to university for voice acting. I love Disney and I love the magic behind, you know, a Disney film. And I wish I could, you know, I want to be an actor, but I mean, not my face because nobody wants to see my face. I want to, I want to do voice acting. That would be pretty cool. All right. So let's get started with the posted app. The posted app is definitely a very interesting app, a very weird app because you know, we're all used to post-its being like physical post-it notes, but this post-it app lets you do post-its in your iPad with your Apple Pencil. If you have a bunch of post-its in, in your wall, for example, you can actually scan it from your iPad and it will put it everything inside of this app. So that's pretty cool. If you actually use them physically, they will be built into the iPad. Great app, useful app, especially if you're a student. All right, so next up, I'd say this is the most essential app. It is Notability. Notability, I take it as my notebook. I mean, I do not take notes. I did not take notes and I don't think I will ever take notes again, you know, with paper and pen i do it sometimes but i always 99 98 percent i do it on my ipad thanks to notability one thing that i love about notability is the voice recording so let's say you know you're taking notes but your teacher is going way too fast and you cannot catch up you simply press the record button and your class will be recorded which is very awesome of course you can add images you can scan documents you can add gifs one thing gifs gifs let me know in the comments down below you can also change your paper which is something very cool that you can customize it. You can change the lines if you want squares, if you want dots. All that stuff is very, very cool. Definitely recommend. Another essential app for me is Procreate. And this might surprise you because Procreate is usually for the illustrators, for people, for designers, for people that like to draw. Most people don't know this, but Procreate is not only for the designers and for the illustrators. Procreate, in my opinion, is the best app to use your Apple Pencil or your Logitech Crayon. So for me, I take Procreate as a blank piece of paper. You know, when you're a student and you just want, you know, a blank piece of paper to just write something down, I don't usually do that with Notability. I open up Procreate and I open up a blank piece of paper so I can sketch, draw, and sometimes I even take notes inside of Procreate. Why? Because I can, um, don't judge me. I love the brush library that there is inside of Procreate. I love the layers. iStudio Pro basically replaces your agenda inside of your iPad Pro. For me, I had all of my classes here in high school. I didn't really use this in college, to be honest, but I used this in high school so much, and I definitely recommend it in college and in high school. So here's where you put all of your classes, all of your schedules, so you know exactly where you're going. There's also an iPhone app and an Apple Watch app. You can also put your homework, all of your assignments, and you can put delivery dates, you can put priority. Um, so, you know, it, it reminds you that, hey, you gotta really do that essay. There's also the planner. You, you can put all of your classes in here. You can put the dates, you can put how many classes are left, how many assignments. This is an essential once again, if you wanna start getting organized before your classes start, this is a great way to do that on your iPad. Then there is Keynote and Pages, the iWork suite from Apple. 
problem i did not use microsoft word or microsoft powerpoint never i never used them i mean i did use them but i like keynote and pages so much better the way that it connects everything with my icloud account keynote and pages if you want to do write all of your documents on your ipad it will do it just fine and then with keynote you can design all of your PowerPoint keynote presentations for your school projects. I use both of them, Pages and Keynote, they saved my life. And by the way, Apple recently added some new templates for Keynote and for Pages, which are beautiful. So if you're done with those designs that you've been using for years and years and years for your keynote presentation. So just to let you guys know that there are some new ones and they are beautiful and I use them and they are beautiful and I will keep using them forever because they are awesome. All right, calculator, Apple. I know it's not optimized. I know the design isn't perfect for the iPad. I get that. I get your point of view. I read that. I read some articles about that. Apple says that, you know, the calculator, the buttons would be too big and they are not beautiful. I get that. Just put like a widget or something. We need some sort of calculator. It's kind of crazy that we have to download an app for to, to use a calculator. So Calculator Air is my calculator app for the iPad. What does it do? Nothing special. It's just a calculator. And you're welcome because you're gonna need a calculator always and it's built into your iPad now. So you're welcome. All right, so I'd say the most powerful app in this video is Agenda. And I'm actually gonna read what Agenda actually is because it's kind of, it's not hard to explain, but I think um, they explain it so much better. Agenda is a date-focused note-taking app for iOS, iPadOS, and macOS, which helps you plan and document your projects. Agenda gives you a complete picture of past, present, and future, driving your projects forward. So I would describe Agenda, and I would say it's so special because it basically mixes like a to-do list app, which I'm gonna show you a to-do list app that I also use, like Things 3. It mixes, for example, Things 3 and Apple Notes all into one. It's so powerful, so you can write anything that you want, you can note take whatever the heck you want, and then you've got amazing to-do list. The design is beautiful. It's a very well-designed app. Like, you know when you open an app and you're like, wow, you're surprised at how beautiful and simple the design actually is? Well, this is what happens here. It is very, very powerful. It is a very, very clean way to note take. All right, so let's be real. College will stress you out and I've got a solution for you. Take your Apple Pencil, take your stylus, take your Logitech crayon, and you can go ahead and start coloring using pigment. I found this very relaxing when I was stressed out. I just, you know, colored with my iPad Pro. It helped me. There's a bunch of different drawings. There's a bunch of Disney um, paintings that you can actually paint. So yeah, you're welcome. You're not gonna be stressed out now using pigment. Um, it will not stress you out. Once again, you're welcome. So I'm gonna be honest now, the app that I use the most is Things 3. Things 3 is a to-do list app, and it's a very simple app. You guys know that I love this. If you guys are new to the channel, you guys don't. But for those of you who know me, they know that I love Things 3 because the app on the Apple Watch is amazing, and I can tell my Apple Watch to you know um, create a new to-do list. It's a very, very clean app. I'm not gonna even mention everything that it does because it actually does quite a lot. I'm just gonna say Things 3, such a clean app to do your to-do list that saved my butt off in college because on how clean and I was so organized using Things 3 and it was great. Talking about stressing out, by the way, Dark Noise is probably one of my favorite apps out there. I love it on my iPhone and it's also great, of course, on the iPad. It's basically like a white noise library. There's a bunch of different white noises that you can pick from, a bunch of basically sound effects, nature, you can put the beach on, you can put a car noise, uh, a waterfall, underwater noises. I love this. I put my AirPods Pro with with um, noise cancellation, I put this on and I do not hear anything. So whenever I'm at a cafe, for example, at a bar studying, I put my AirPods Pro on, I put dark noise on and I'm so focused to do whatever I'm doing in that moment. Totally recommend this app. Kind of pricey, but definitely worth it. Also, one of the things that I hate about taking notes on the iPad Pro is the way that the actual screen feels when you're typing. And you can solve that with today's sponsor, which is Paperlike. Paperlike is a screen protector that makes your iPad Pro feel and sound like you're actually writing on a piece of paper. When you're a student, you're writing like crazy on your iPad and you want that paper experience and you can get that with Paperlike. If you guys are interested in Paperlike, of course, links are in the description. I love mine. Now I want to know what your favorite student iPad Pro apps are in the comments down below. Those are my essential 2020 student iPad Pro apps. Once again, let me know in the comments if I missed one. Good luck. What are you studying? Are you going to high school? Are you going to middle school? Elementary? If you're in elementary, you should probably not have an iPad at that young of an age. Maybe you do. Maybe you're going into college. Maybe you're going into university. Let me know in the comments down below. What are you studying? So yeah, that's it. I have nothing more to tell you. You're welcome for all these apps. Thank you.
Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you in the back. You in the back, too. Thank you. That's life. That's life. That's what all the people say.